guys, girls, Friends. so much has happened <laughs> this week. Oh my goodness. We had scary stuff last night, which we'll get to in a minute. We got animals. We did projects. And we've totally changed our whole solo shed plan. First things What's, first. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I'll stop talking. The kids and I finished the rabbit hutch. Yes, and it looks so good. You guys did awesome. Yeah. We actually have watched several videos from our friends, Better Together Life, and they have a great plan for rabbit hutch that we just altered a little bit to fit our needs. Yeah. So the kids and I rocked it out. Hot. Yeah. yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> you were about to touch it. It looked great. And then this weekend, you guys took a big trip to Phoenix. Yes. To pick up said rabbits. Yes, our first trio. Yeah. And so Adelaide and Jax have both invested in these rabbits. They're going to try to breed them mm -hmm. and try to make some money of their own. So it's kind of like their first little business venture, which is really cool. <laughs> They're adorable. They are adorable. They're so, especially that one little gray one. It, like, yeah. It's so little. This weekend. Yesterday. We also got chickens!
like completes my homestead dream. I'm so excited <laughs> about the chickens. Yeah, we got seven chickens. Yeah, we ended up with seven to start with. To and, like check our predator situation. Yeah, there was somebody that was close by. They were selling, so we just drove down there and we got them. And two of them escaped yesterday already because <laughs> yeah. they're kind of like free range. Like they, they like to, to go ranging. roost in the trees and stuff. And they totally roosted on some other tree. Is roosted a word? They roasted. They root. No, it's not roasted. Roosted. They ro roasted. Anyway, they decided to go to the adjoining property and stay in that tree, so we had to go retrieve them. Yeah, that was a big ordeal. <laughs> I should have got Chickens are hard to catch. Uh... <laughs> and our fence is not keeping them in. No, they just... Walk right through the electric Or they fence. just jump over. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. They're staying in the coop for a couple of days to kind of know that this is where we're going to feed them. Yeah. So hopefully they will come back to the coop. Yeah. Or, I don't care if they run around. We might have to build them like a bigger enclosed area. Maybe. I get to build something? If we have the money. I mean, you know. I, I would like to build something. I know you would. I know. We have other things to build, like the solar shed. Oh, our solar shed plans have been changed all over. Listen, here's the thing. We decided we were going to do like a wooden floor, like a wooden deck base yeah and it. we decided like a month too late because all the prices have doubled yeah so apparently because of the wildfires in like california and then with the pandemic and everybody doing projects the price of lumber has literally doubled in the what, last six weeks or something four weeks um we called to get a quote just for the base of of this solar shit is only what 12 by 16 uh-huh it was gonna be over three thousand like $3,500 just for the lumber and yeah. maybe the screws. I nope, know. that was just the lumber. <laughs> and so we were like, hard stop. We don't want to spend that much money just on the floor. <laughs> yeah, our whole point of being here is to build things more eco-friendly and really bootstrap this homestead. Right, yeah, like we're trying to do this as we have the cash to do each project. Right. Yeah, we don't want to go into debt. Like we don't want to go get a loan just to build a tiny solar shed. Right. That defeats the whole purpose. So our plans are changing. So she's talked me into an earth bag building. This is my idea. Dome slash guest room. And then the main area, desks, fridge and freezer, battery wall. Where's the entry door? Over here on this side. Mm -hmm. And there's a door into here, and then there's a door out here. I so like the, the, the entry doors are separate so that there's some privacy if someone is staying. I just, I just don't it. really agree with your layout. Well, I know you don't, but <laughs> this was my idea. Yeah, do you want to see mine? Sure. All right, let's see yours. This is my idea. I feel like it's superior to the previous idea because you would want your guest room to be on the east side of the property, obviously. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I like the way it looks. And you would have an entry door on this side to go into the guest room, but then our entry would be into the office on this side, which is closer to the house, and we could have a cute little path. Mm -hmm. You still have your desk with the really cool mountain view mm -hmm. and your battery wall and freezer and fridge. Now, the only reason that I think this one is better, because they're pretty much the same thing, is that I still have my south-facing wall where we can do passive solar. So that, when you put this over here, it blocks all that sun. So if you keep this side open with your windows, you can still have the passive solar to come in and heat in the winter. You can see, I still have windows on the south side too. This is one gigantic window that you just can't tell because I didn't bother writing the dimensions. <laughs> So yes, the south side is still receiving sun and solar. But wouldn't that window on the main area be covered in shade because of the dome? Wouldn't no, the dome because the shadow? dome is positioned in the perfect way that it never will cast a shadow. <laughs> Tell me I'm right. You're right? You know, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. And change your plans. Change your plans and be flexible, which I really don't like being flexible. We spend the last five years of our life being flexible. Like <sighs> I really like to have a plan and then stick to the plan. And what? I really like to change everything. At the last, last second. Yeah. <laughs> you like the plan. That's me. I like the, That's not you. I like the freedom. <laughs> In fact, I was like, can 
one day on this property, I'm going to build a building with zero plan. I'm just going to start and see what happens. Do you, do you see me sweating <laughs> right now? Do you see me like having heart palpitations? I can see Cause... it in my head. I don't need to write it down and have. But, but, <laughs> but. It's going to work. But you should it would know what you're. probably the coolest building. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I know you know what you're doing. Then trust me. But. But there's no plan. There is a plan. It's in my head. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean there's not a plan. I have a great plan. Guys, we're gonna figure this out. I promise. <laughs> you'll get. You'll get. You'll get. A I building. get one building yeah, to do sure. whatever I want. Speaking of wildfires, last uh, night was a little bit scary. I don't Our know first if you can, close encounter. You can see back here. There's some smoke. Um, we got a message from some of our friends last night, and they were like, "Hey." There's a fire on the mountain behind you. And we're like, oh. She's like, just a little bit of smoke. And we're like, oh, well, you know, maybe we're it's... We're just watching it. Maybe it's a campfire. Maybe, I don't know. I know, it, it wasn't was a campfire. Enough. But it was it was very tiny. And so we started, like, getting in touch with other people and sort of, you know, like... Just trying to find out the details. Find out some details. And then as it got darker, we watched the whole mountain start to glow and get like crazy bright and mm -hmm. then and then and it overnight it like started coming and it over. came over and you could actually see the flames on it and we're like oh crap like <laughs> this is not good anything in here that is backpacks <laughs> i didn't think that was high priority what is in here uh, I don't know. Indoor stuff. What about books? I have a ton of books, but I don't feel like that's high priority. So, apparently there's a wildfire up on the mountain right behind us. Uh, we just found out tonight. It's about 845. There was a little smoke a few hours ago, but now it's like you can see it like glowing and raging on the mountain. So... We're going through our garage here and packing up sort of everything essential. Just uh, in case. Just in case we've got to like head out tonight or first thing in the morning. Yeah. Trying to figure out what we can do for the animals. Where to go. Yeah. Uh, did not expect this tonight. There's been I no don't storms. Think ever expected. There's been nothing. Yeah, there's been nothing that would indicate why there would be a wildfire. So we have no idea what's going on. Hopefully we'll find out more soon. But that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we did pretty much everything we can. So it turns out we're literally across the road from what they call the set evacuation zone, which means that if we can't get this under control, we're going to say go and you need to be ready to like get out and evacuate we're like well that escalated quickly <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> so last night it was dark and we were watching the mountain burn and well, so we were also talking to the kids about trying to figure out a plan because honestly we did not have a plan to not, evacuate not really. i mean we have an airstream right our evacuation plans was are much up. simpler than most people pick um, up and leave but it gets a little more complicated now that we have rabbits and chickens and pigs and, and cats, cats and, a, and dog. a dog so we're gonna have to work on that a little bit we're gonna I, get some more crates i will say it looks like things are under control we haven't heard for sure we're still getting updates but it seems like they're they're taking care yeah, of it, it looks and a lot better this morning. looks much better this morning but we're still keeping an eye on it so i think we aren't gonna have to move but geez man <laughs> i was a little close yeah it's scary well we've never lived in an area where we have to worry about that so i think that uh moving forward we're gonna work on our animal evacuation plan for sure for sure and then see if there's anything we can do on the property to sort of protect what we've got so many plans to implement <sighs> like we have the time yeah. for that. <laughs> so anyway things have been exciting this week and i don't know what are we what's happening now we're waiting to hear on this fire to make sure that we don't have to pack up and leave yeah we're not getting any more animals for a while. Let's build something. Yeah, we need to work on that solar shed. Yes.
So probably we got to order some earth bags, I guess. It seem, sounds like that's what we're doing. We did a live video last week where we walked the property and a bunch of people watched and had some great questions. So I think we're going to do it again. We have to make that a regular thing. We might make it a regular weekly thing on Thursday afternoon slash evenings. Thursday, um, maybe a weekend. No, Thursday was a pretty good day. Okay. Um, so if you have... Oh, thanks. You're so smart. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm tall. Perfect in every way. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you just I totally see. threw me off track there. I kind of got distracted. <laughs> oh, so if we do this live video this week, we need more questions. So hit us up with all your questions and your ideas of like what you would like. Because last time we walked the property and mm -hmm. that was cool, but obviously we're not going to walk the property every week. So, mm -hmm. Is there something you would like to see? You would like us to, to so, like specifically focus on? That would be awesome. And oh, and t-shirts. We're still waiting on our own t-shirts. We ordered t-shirts for ourselves, so we could so we could show them to you. So they're not there yet. But if you want to support us, go check that out. It's tinyshinyhome.com/shop, and you should see all of them just listed there. You can go grab one. They, they came, came early. Nobody out there like it like we are. We are. So don't forget, we're going to do a live this Thursday around 4.30 Mountain Standard Time. Go buy a shirt, and we will see you next time.